Greetings, I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We focus these weeks on the journey we make in faith and the power of the Holy Spirit to move us. Today we focus on Proverbs 22, 6, that tells us, start children off on the way they should go, And when they are old, they will not turn from it. One of the powerful things I believe in our own faith journeys is that we have the ability to sow seeds into others. At Epworth, over the last two Sundays, we've seen evidence of children and youth whom have been the focus of others investing time and love and energy and resources. Both graduating Senior Sunday and Confirmation Sunday stand as powerful reminders to the fact that our faith journey is about more than us. It's about the lives of others that we choose to make important to our own. I find this Proverbs 22 verse so powerful because it speaks to the way in which Our actions today, the seeds that we sow today into the lives of children and youth, really have impact and sometimes impact that we don't fully understand. Sometimes teaching a child or a young person about the relevance and the power of God isn't seen immediately. They may continue in a relatively easy journey until a point in which they depart or they go deep or they struggle like many of us. And Proverbs 22, 6 seems to remind us that there is a promise that we will come back around, that the seeds that are sown in our youth produce fruit even beyond what we can see. One of the powerful things about the movement of God in this world is that while God desires to be intimately and personally connected to each one of us, it is never just about us. It's about the journey that we make together, the experience that we have of God together, the way that we invest our resources together. The way that we see the hand of God at work in the lives of others in moments far more clearly than we can see God at work in our own. And so when we start children off in the way that they should go, when we believe that the seeds that are planted today bear fruit not just now but far into the future, When we see that this journey we make together like the people of Israel walking for 40 years in the wilderness, we're reminded that we have a calling and a commitment and a responsibility to each other. Of course, the kingdom of God is about all of us together. And we as human beings seem to have such a deep desire to segregate out and divide and distinguish and invest here but not invest there. And yet over and over again, the Holy Spirit comes and renews and reminds us that we make this journey together and that the seeds that we sow today bear fruit tomorrow and beyond. Today, I invite you to consider whether you have biological children or youth of your own. I invite you to consider that there is a call to plant into somebody's life that is not your own. And that part of that call to plant into their life will enrich and deepen and widen your faith journey as much as it will theirs. But of course, we cannot plant seeds that we don't have in our hands. We can't point to a living God for someone else to experience if we don't have that experience ourselves. And so today I invite you to not only commit to investing in someone else, but commit to the places where God becomes real in you so that you can share that with others. Certainly the news has pointed to a thousand different ways where we undervalue life, where we take life, where we allow white supremacy and mental illness and violence to overwhelm our understanding of our commitment one to another. We should never be burying individuals who woke up one evening and 
went to the supermarket like they did in Buffalo. We should never be burying children and teachers who went to school believing that they were learning for the next day. We should be sowing seeds of life and truth and faith and power and acceptance and grace into others, just as God has sowed them into us. That not only would those very children and youth come back round, but that they would sow seeds into the lives of others as the legacy moves forward. God, we're grateful that we are connected to each other and that we are connected by generations and that your spirit is always making things new. Pour out your spirit, God, in ways that we would see you and experience you and know you and teach us anew what it means to be yours. Give us those precious seeds those seeds that you have sown in us that we might sow them in others. Give us the commitment to children and youth and to next generations, God, that we would live not just for ourselves, but that the power of your presence would be known from generation to generation. In Jesus' name, amen.